Hi, it's Raquel with Balloon Splendor. I got a call this morning for a, a bid on a baby shower. And I do maybe one baby shower a year. So I, I, I just don't do very many of them. I don't have a big library of pictures to send. So I thought, well, this will be fun to do a tutorial on it. So the gal calls up and she wants uh, balloon columns that look like baby bottles and she wants centerpieces with balloon pacifiers in them. And the colors are black, white, and red. And so I said, okay, great, give me your email address and I'll put together a bid and send it to you. She said, great. So I'm sitting here looking at my screen going, oh my goodness, who has black, white, and red for a baby shower? And so I googled it and realized, hmm, I wonder if she's doing a Mickey Mouse theme because that's the black and red with the white accents, which is what she wanted, black and red with the white accents. Okay, so now I gotta build a baby bottle. So I'm gonna go up here to my building blocks and I'm gonna pull out a column. And I need to make that into a baby bottle. Okay, well, let's go ahead and turn it red. Whoops, I want all of them to be red, not just the one. And thinking this might be a baby shower, I'm gonna go ahead and ungroup that real quick. Uh, I wonder if we went ahead and selected certain balloons to be kind of uh, like maybe Mickey Mouse-ish. Can I say that? I'm gonna go with a dark gray so when if I select the colors and go do something different, um, all the black lines won't turn the different color. Okay, so there's black and red, and if it is indeed a Mickey Mouse theme, I've got Mickey Mouse worked into the pattern. Okay, so now we gotta do the top part. And I'm gonna go ahead and work white into the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and borrow this, this quad down here. I'm gonna do a control, copy, and paste. I'm gonna bring it up to the top. And I'm gonna go format, click this little button here. Make sure I've got a locked aspect ratio clicked and I'm gonna size them down a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna arrow them together and you know, I think that's probably too small. I'm sitting there trying to figure out what uh, baby bottles look like. Huh. I think, actually the, the top one is, is Okay, I'm going to start over. I think this is the white one here. I didn't select it. There it goes. So that's going to be the white. And then we'll go ahead and grab the duplicate again. And I'm going to make it smaller this time. And I already checked to make sure the aspect ratio. Okay, so that's going to be the nipple starting to taper down. Right? Okay, we're going to change that to white. We're going to change that. Oh, I changed the line. I want the line to be black. And I want the fill to be white. There we go. Scoot that down a little bit. And what if we did one more, copy paste, and we did it even smaller. Okay, so let's go in and check to see what size this is. They're 0.66 inches and I did this at 0.45. So what if I wanted to do this at half the size? So 0.66 divided by half would be uh, 0.33. So let's do them at 0.3. Okay, look at that. They're much smaller now. So we can go ahead and put that there. Bring this one down and bring this one down also. I'm going to pull this one, whoops. I'm going to pull that one. And when they start getting small like that, they're hard to select sometimes. I'm going to go ahead and pull this one back up so I can make sure that these guys are actually touching like a real quad would, right? Pull that one down a little bit. And maybe up a little bit. Okay, and now I'm going to pull this one back down again. Uh, 
that's a little crooked. And you and I are probably the only ones that are going to notice it's a little crooked. Okay, so, and then I'm just going to go ahead and take this, and in my mind, I'm thinking this top quad is actually going to be a set of five, and we're going to take it back a little bit. Okay. I think that's how I've been seeing the nipples on um, Google and Pinterest for the balloons. They're kind of like that. Okay, so there's a baby bottle with um, with black, white, and red. I've worked all the colors into it. I don't like that either. Let's bring it back. Okay, so let's work a little bit on some centerpieces. So she wanted a pacifier. I happen to have a pacifier in my building blocks. And we need to change the colors. So I'm going to go ahead and change that to red. And we're going to change the handle, the handle to black. Just like that. Isn't that pretty slick? I love the building blocks. When I discovered how to do that, it just like changed my life because I don't have to go into MS Paint anymore. Coolest thing. Okay, so this is obviously a floating, a floating version of this. And let's see. Oh, let, let's let's carry this this idea here. Let's go ahead and copy those quads, copy and paste, and I'm going to do a shift arrow to pull it out of there. So what if that's the base of our, I'm going to group that. What if we do that as the base of our centerpieces? Really super simple. And there's some ribbon, and if I want to add some curling ribbon, we can go like this. And then you double click and it's done. There you go. Look at that ribbon. Okay. So really simple, really basic. Um, I'm probably going to start there and say, is this what you had in mind? And depending on how she comes back to me, um, actually I think I'll do one more centerpiece. I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and copy this over and I'm going to do this copy and paste. Make sure my um, my ratio is locked. And we're going to look at doing a little tiny version. Like that. So maybe it's not going to be quite that tiny. Okay. Something like that. And what kind of embellishments would we do with that? Oh. oh, this is why I do corporate work. I'm just not the frou-frou queen. Um, hmm. Well, let's go look into the drawing tools here and see what we got. You know, I think I'm going to leave it just like that to begin with to start the conversation. It's the price point is down a little bit. And so typically what I'll do is send them some ideas and invite them to send me what, you know, what inspiration they've seen. What what are they looking at that's caused them to say they want a baby bottle column in black and red and a pacifier centerpiece? And then I can, you know, take a look at that and move from there. So anyway, there's an example of pulling together a quick and dirty little quote for a baby shower. Um, how I used the the building blocks, the page parts here. How I color it in, thinking out loud on the design. Made a little curling ribbon stuff here. So I would go ahead and I would save this as black and white baby shower or maybe Mickey Mouse baby shower or something since we've got the Mickey Mouse pattern worked into there. And then I'll save it again as a JPEG so I can send it off to her in an email. So I'm hoping this will inspire you to start doing more of your own digital mock-ups. 
I'm Raquel Porter with Balloon Splendor.